Hi, and welcome to session three, Love for All. You know, in this series so far, we've looked at two epic concepts, right? Justice and truth. Uh, they're so global and they affect all of us. But let's shift gear for a while and let's make it a little bit more personal, shall we? As we take this look at why the gospel is good news for all. We all want love and we all need love. In fact, in our earlier sessions, when we, when we uh, talk about what's broken about humanity, we surely must include the fact that humanity has its heart broken. That at some level, we, um, we are unresolved inside. You know, St. Augustine says this, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our heart is restless until it rests in you. What? Why are we talking like this? Why do people write stuff like this? If we are just a collection of random molecules, if we are nothing but flesh and blood and, and biology, then surely love, this restlessness that we feel inside, doesn't really have a functional purpose, right? Um, but the truth is, if you'll, if you'll just investigate, the truth is we have a heart and a soul. As humans, we know it inherently that we are not just um, functional robots who live, die, and exist uh, to populate this planet. You know, Matthew 16, 26 calls, it brings out the dilemma of the soul to us. It says, what, for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? You know, if we were just molecules without a heart or a soul, then why would we long for love? we would actually just be satisfied with a functional life, with all of our material needs met. If, if it was just for evolution and just to survive, then surely if we've got all the things that we need, we'd be okay. Why, why are there people who have so much money? They've got fame. They even have the love of many people and still they're dissatisfied, still empty, still unfulfilled. Perhaps a clue is actually in God's two greatest instructions for humanity. Found in Matthew 22, 35 to 40. Uh, one of them, a lawyer, asked Jesus a question to test him. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment um, uh, or, or, you know, the greatest instruction in the law? And he said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. What he's saying is that we were made to love God and to love others. God, our creator, knows what we need. He desires our well-being and our holiness. I just want to ask this question. And this is the question that I'm hoping um, you'll be able to ask your friends. Who can love you like God can love you? This is what your neighbor needs to hear. Our friends, our family, they need to hear about the love of Jesus Christ. Romans 5 verse 8 says, But God showed His love for us in in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That's the kind of love God has. He sees our failings and our failures, yet loves us nevertheless. We are reconciled by God, to God. That is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, um, the United Nations uh, uh, set out a bunch of rights that all humans have. Uh, I love this. They've got this charter for, for human rights and they've got this section on children. And it says that, uh, that every child has a right to know their parents. In fact, it's article number seven. The, the rights one to five, 
basically say that children have rights. Then number six says that they have a right to a full life. They've got the right to survive, right? Okay, children should survive and, and be healthy. Great. And then the seventh one, the next one, is that children have a right to a name and an identity and a right to know their parents. Every human has the right to know their Creator. We're not an accident. The gospel is a good news of the message of rec reconciliation back to our Creator, our Father. Matthew 11, 28 to 30 says, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Please introduce your friends to the loving arms of their Creator. The gospel is good news for them.